Welcome back to Issues of Faith. We have with us Osama Balul, Imam of the Islamic Center of Nashville. He wrote an opinion piece in the Tennessee, and we must stand up to hatred after the mass shooting uh, in New Zealand, where people were gunned down as they went to prayer in two mosques. Um, you said you appreciate a tough question. Yes. You want people to talk and communicate with each other, and if they have a difference, bring it up, and that that, that act of communicating can make a difference. And you, you invite people to come and ask questions. What, what are some of the hardest questions you've, you've yeah, got? We, we, we invite people to come in a time and raise any questions without, without filtering them. It's a good for them and a good for me and a good for us. Uh, this is the beauty of freedom. We, we speak a lot about uh, freedom of expressions and uh, as a, a fundamental part of our constitution in America. And uh, we are all proud of this part. And why it's really essential? Because it's good for the society. Good for the society to speak with each other. The people, um, people will come to the Islamic Center or call sometime. And uh, when saying to them, uh, share with us what you have in mind, some of them will uh, requ uh, request uh, general information about Islam. And uh, some of them uh, have their own stereotype toward the Muslim community. One will say, how many wives do you have? Uh, and uh, I have one wife and I have three kids. And uh, they assume that all of the Muslims are having four wives. It's, it's impossible. And uh, they assume that all of the female are being abused within the Muslim community. Not realizing that we have, unfortunately, a crisis with the within the females' right. They don't realize that Muslims elected of state to be a female. Uh, we, we are talking about Prime Minister of Pakistan, the President of uh, Bangladesh, we are talking about Indonesia. Here is a Muslim country, the ma and they feel like what we do not recognize the right of the females. And the Islamic speaking if you want to be close to God you are to be kind to your mom uh, you are to be kind to your wife the best one in the eyes of God is the one really treating his wife well they, uh, they, 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 they speak uh, they, sometimes they ask about uh, Sharia and they, they assume that all of the non-Muslim are infidel and we have to get Muslims are supposed to kill them all and I said this is that, that, that's nonsense. So, uh, Muslims they were in power. They were the big guys for decades, uh, centuries. Why didn't they get rid of uh, people of other faiths? We call uh, the Christians uh, and Jewish brothers and sisters the people of the book. We are even allowed, we are allowed to, to, to marry them and to, to, to socialize with them. And they, they are very close to us. Some people assume that we don't believe in Jesus at all. And uh, someone said, why do you dislike Jesus? I said, one of my prayer is, uh, I pray that God will give me the, the joy of being with Jesus in heaven. And Muslims believe in Jesus. Yes, we see him as a prophet, as a human. But we believe and love and respect him. And we believe in the Virgin Mary. So we receive many of these questions. Are you loyal to America? I am an American citizen. And the people do not realize that you've been born in America. You had no choice when you become an American citizen. I had a choice. And the people like me had a choice. And uh, when, when we become American and we become part of this beautiful family. We embrace this and we love it. Uh, someone said, do you really believe in the American Constitution? I said, this is the only way out. I am an I am proud American Muslim. American Muslim loyal to the country and its constitution and the, in the area of spirituality. I love my religion and I love God. And uh, some people have this assumption that do not, we don't like the constitution and we are not loyal. No, we are, and the Muslims are serving in the American army, and uh, we are proud of many Muslims being active in politics. Uh, 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 but I, I, I really welcome those kind of questions all of the time, and I always say to everyone, if you see us doing anything wrong, we are a member of your family. Uh, give us an advice, give us an, a feedback, and we will take it seriously, and we will do the same toward you. And so those meetings, I bet, are very powerful. So they ask these very hard questions, many of which you just laid out. Yes. And yes, they've seen, they've seen you know, this video on the internet or this news report or whatever it is where there are examples of some of the things that you said. But how does it go after the conversation, often? Uh, 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 I think the, uh, often we, 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 people 
some people will uh, change positions and uh, some people will say well, I still have this agreement over this but I'm glad that I have the opportunity and in my opinion if they change a position or not I think I, I always say we become friends and I appreciate the friendship and the new friend I have today and you continue speaking uh, against this issue and tackling this issue and I welcome it all of the time and uh, I think any good society like ours in America must must do this must do this it is really good it is really good for everyone and uh, again I think we are to feel comfortable I always say you have the right to ask about anything the question is yours and I will give you my answer the answer is mine I don't guarantee agreement but I always guarantee respect love and the compassion toward uh, uh, our neighbors and the people that we are interacting with are is there enough of that and I, I think it, 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 it seems like we all benefit if different uh, people of faith who have disagreements um, get together and just talk is, the, is there enough of that? What, what, what have you seen in the last couple of years? Has it gotten worse, better? What, what, what are you seeing? Was it ever good? Um, you know, is there enough of, of just people of different faiths coming together and talking uh, in good faith? There is obviously a room for improvement. And uh, in the last uh, couple of years, I think all of us in America and worldwide, maybe because of the social media, because of this and that, I think uh, people are more open about their ideas. And I think, I think it's a good, good part about it, giving us an, an opportunity to, to engage in a discussion. The troubling part about it, if we are not being careful when, uh, when posting anything on the internet, it seems like some people can be influenced and they end up killing innocent people. So do, we ha do you think is it enough? I don't think it is. I believe there's a big room for improvement. But Muslims in America are not even 1%. I mean, we are talking about a small community. A small community, and uh, unfortunately or fortunately, being bought in the corner. And the uh, Islamophobic calling us bad names all of the time. And it's uh, Islamophobic in America become an is industry by itself. It's money, millions of dollars. And uh, I don't mind a disagreement. I, I like discussions. It bothers me a bit when uh, some of the girls, because it's obvious for a Muslim female, it's easy for you to identify a Muslim female due to the head scarf. Some of them being called bad names. And why, now, why do you want anyone uh, feel com feels comfortable harassing a woman, saying, do you have a bomb under your scarf? Go back home. And those, many of those females have been born in America. Be, uh, and the, this is the religious choice. This is why I feel that we are to stand together against any kind of hate without any discrimination. I said in the candlelight last Friday, uh, 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 zero tolerance toward the hate. Zero tolerance toward the hate. No one has the right to hate people. Uh, if you are Christians, this is what God expects from you. If, I, if you are Muslim, this is what God expects from you. If you are not religious at all, this is what a reasonable way of life expects from you. Uh, we are in this together, and we, 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 have to, we, we, have to, we have to stand with each other. I really do. Islamophobia is, is real. Every day. Every day. Every day. In those it's ways you mentioned. Yes, a look, a bad look, and uh, someone driving, and uh, I, I hear a lot of complaint, and uh, and kind of kind of break my heart. I want to, 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 to hear kids being discriminated against today in, in, in this day and age, and uh, w when people being harassed simply because of how they look uh, or the religion they practice. This is against our constitution in America. And surprisingly, some people feel like they are pro the Constitution. Well, the Constitution welcome diversity. This is one of the most special assets about our country here that do not in America. People feel comfortable expressing their opinion, having disagreement. You disagree with anyone. The Constitution gives you this right. But the Constitution does not give anyone the right to harass others. And the, uh, in, in this case, killing 50 innocent people and uh, 10 or 12 uh, 
are in a very bad uh, really Sorry. conditions. They are, uh, but they respond. I, I, I don't want to be pessimistic. Again, they respond, uh, they respond locally in Nashville. And uh, uh, really, uh, it's overwhelming. I'm glad to hear that. It and is. I want to, in our final seconds, I want to just kind of reiterate yes. what you wrote. It is okay to disagree. It is not okay uh, to hate those you disagree with simply for the fact they think or believe differently. Certainly. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, Thank okay. you for being open to taking questions. Thank you. Anytime. Thanks. Thanks to all of you for watching Issues of Faith. Have a great day, everybody.